All right, here we go. Uh, here's one of your challenge problems to make sure that you understand what's going on. So this is basically analyzing a word problem and trying to gain knowledge from it and things like that. So you're trying to solve a problem here. Uh, it has about a person, a child running towards their favorite toy. Let's assume they actually get their favorite toy. Okay, so let's, let's just assume they actually get to it instead of just like, I wonder if they ever reached it. All right, so you want to know, based on all this information, assuming they get to their favorite toy, where did they start running from? Okay, relative to the house. All right, so that's your challenge. Okay, so give your best shot, and I'll reveal the answer in moments. All right, so you're going to get the answer in... So I'd pause it now, just in case. Uh, you're going to get the answer in three, two, one. Bam, there's your answer, 87 meters. So if you got it, you're good to go. If you did not get it, then you're going to want to try a first uh, little thing. And so my first hint to you, if you did not get 87 meters, is did you draw a picture of the situation? I'm not talking like master class art skills here. I'm talking a basic picture. So we've got a child running to the left. All right, I'm not even gonna, there's, there's a child, look, child, it's a dot. They're running to the left. All right, at seven meters per second. So that's my velocity. The, they're going towards their favorite toy, which is only three meters to the right of their house. All right, well, they're coming at it, so their house is over here. Look at that house. Years of art school to make a house. All right, so it's like the ground. So their house, uh, it's three meters to the right of their house. I'm going to call their house zero. Okay. Uh, and then 12 seconds, so that's our time interval. Okay, so if you didn't draw that, you didn't go through and kind of do some text marking and draw that, please start now, because quite frankly, where we started, that's our initial position. Based on this, you really should be able to solve it. All right, so why don't you give it a second try, see if you're able to get our 87 meters. If not, I'll give you another hint after this. All right, so waiting for next hint. All right, next hint. So uh, let's say this still isn't good enough for you. Based on this, we can create our math model because we have this in our back pocket. Okay, so therefore we know that our position that we're going to end up with is 3. All right, and then our velocity and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to this. You should be able to figure this out. But really, use your math model. Use this math model. Okay, that's your next hint. All right, if you still can't get A7, then I'm basically just going to walk you through the whole thing. All right, so try it, see if you can get that A7. All right, so if you still haven't gotten the A7, you're still watching the video, then let's just go through some guide instruction here. So your file position is 3, that's where the toy is. Your velocity is a negative 7 because you're heading to the left. Time is 12 seconds, plus your initial position. I have no idea. All right, at this point, it's algebra, okay? So you really get 3 equals, what do you get? What do you get? Negative 84, 84 plus x of naught, and then we're going to add 84 to both sides to get it to go, and so then you get 87 meters is your initial position. All right, that's your answer. All right, so hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you got before you all the way got to the end, I had to walk you through. But uh, if not, hopefully maybe when it comes for some help, things like that, rewatch some of the videos, uh, make some choices. So uh, if you got that right, then you're probably ready for the assessment on word problems. And if you didn't, I'd uh, go seek some guidance. So either way, awesome talking.